Director of Ceremonies, I would like to start by expressing a warm welcome to our guest of honor, His Excellency Dr. Kotlak Eber Jonathan, Madam Jonathan, and the entire Nigerian delegation for gracing our 24th anniversary for independence with your eminent presence. Namibia is honored to host you, Your Excellency, on this special occasion. Once again, welcome home away from home. Your presence here, my dear brother, is testimony to the strong bonds of friendship and the excellent bilateral relations existing between the Republic of Namibia and the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's also a reminder that the progressive peoples and organizations in the countries such as Nigeria made an immense contribution to the achievement of Namibia's freedom and the independence. In a demonstration of true solidarity, the frontline states in Nigeria, the Cuban international forces, internationalist forces, many countries in Africa and around the world provided the moral and material support. Swap during our struggle. This was vital in our historic mission to liberate our country from apartheid colonialism. We will always remain grateful to you and our many friends for your steadfast solidarity. Direct of ceremonies on this day, 24 years ago, Namibia joined the community of free nations as an independent republic. This historic milestone was achieved following a protracted national liberation struggle against the apartheid colonialism, in which countless Namibians sacrificed their lives and shared their precious blood. Today, we celebrate a historic triumph for our fellow Namibians. We are proud that the Namibian people from different political persuasion came together in an unprecedented act of patriotism and crafted one of the most acclaimed national constitutions in the world. This enduring fundamental law enshrines and guarantees our people's most fundamental rights and the basic freedoms, including the right to life, equality, freedom of expression, and the freedom of association. It is the foundation upon which we establish our new republic, determined to advance the best interest of all our people and the red to make its contribution towards global peace and security. Director of Ceremonies, this nation will always celebrate and give a greatest honor to our proud history. It's for this reason that we have established monuments 
and the shrines to come up yesterday. We unveiled the Genocide Memorial Statue and the same New Yoma Statue and inaugurated the Independence Memorial Museum in the center of our capital city. The Genocide Memorial pays tribute to our people who fought and died during 1904 to 1907 war of genocide. While the Nuyoma statue represents Namibia's modern national liberation struggle, with the inauguration of the Independence Memorial Museum, we now have an which records Namibia's long anti-colonial resistance, as well as the modern liberation struggle. All of the three monuments are located at the site where concentration camp was built by German colonial Direct our ceremonies over the 24 years, we have established the necessary framework for democratic governance and to put in place public institutions of the state. We have endangered peace, security, and the stability which in turn ensured a conducive environment for our government to deliver public goods and the services to our people. The values and tradition of good governance and the rule of law have been enlarged and they continue to grow deep roots fitting a healthy tree of democracy. Multi-party democratic elections have been held in our country at all levels over the years since the attainment of our independence on this day, 24 years ago demonstrating our steadfast commitment to uphold and preserving our chosen system of governance. Later this year, presidential and national assembly elections will be held. We have no doubt that these elections will be conducted in a free, fair, and a peaceful environment. I must say, and I am telling the nation, that by the wish of God, on this day, next year, 21st of March, I will step down and hand over to the elected new president in accordance to our constitution. I'm told there are about 22 presidential candidates <laughs> who are going to take part in the elections aspiring to become 
the next step first. Obviously, out of 22, it's only one. It's the only one winning candidate who is going to stand here on this day next year to get over the rainbow. <laughs> Director of Ceremonies, we as a nation are proud that the peaceful transfer of political power in our country has become the norm rather than the exception. It is on this basis that on the 21st of March 2005, there was a peaceful and the order handover of power to me from the founding president of our republic, His Excellency, Dr. Sam Sapisunan, whose term of office had come to an end in terms of our national constitution. Director of Ceremonies, in addition building and consolidating our institution of democratic governance. Our government has broadened the delivery of public services to our people. We have also expanded and modernized the fiscal and the communication infrastructure around the country as part of fulfilling our government's mandate. The approach of our government has always been to focus on and prioritize the delivery of the basic public services, which are essential for the improvement of the living conditions of our community. Hence, we have consistently placed the provision of education, health care, housing, electricity, and the potable water at the center of our service delivery strategies. Furthermore, we have implemented the policies that empower women, the youth, veterans of liberation struggle, the elder, people with disability, as well as orphans and the vulnerable children. Currently, we are implementing in the national mass housing program to address the housing backlog in the country. More than 180,000 houses will be built over the next 17 years, targeting and benefiting thousands of our citizens, especially the low-income groups including those who currently live in the informal settlements. In addition, we have focused our attention on policies that are aimed at boosting economic growth, combating extreme poverty, and bringing about economic empowerment to our citizens especially women and the youth. Director of Ceremonies, there is no other agent or more pressing duty on the collective shoulders 
of this nation. Then the imperative of the showing the task of nation and the economic development with the dedication and the commitment. Each one of us, whether we are teachers, nurses, engineers, farmers, civil servants, business persons, politicians, traditional leaders, spiritual leaders, community leaders, persons, and the ordinary citizens should play our role to contribute to the development of our country. Together, we can overcome and eradicate poverty. Together, we will improve the living conditions of our people. Together, we shall make Namibia's star shine bright. Director of Ceremonies, SN Nation. We shall continue to work hand in hand within the Sabbath. The AU, the United Nations, and the other international forums to promote and maintain the global peace and security and the sustainable development. Similarly, we will continue to stand to stand firm in the solidarity with the peoples of Western Sahara and the Palestine until they do are able to exercise their inalienable rights to self-determination. Director of Ceremonies, Electoral Commission of Namibia recently completed the general registration of voters. This will facilitate the compilation of a new voters' work, which will be used in the presidential and the national assembly elections later this year. I commend the Electoral Commission for its good work. I also commend all Namibians who fulfilled their civic duties and are registered as voters. I saw in the newspapers yesterday some people returning their, their cards back because the government allegedly refuses to allow them to reduce what is called the country? To reduce what? Yeah, that one. Well, in democracy, we say we don't have to compare anybody. In democracy, he or she who wants to vote, he or she has to do it as his will or desire. Ask her to do so. Simply because you don't know, you do not want it to follow the rules and regulations of the road as set up. Now you say we should do it the other way around for you. 
by law, I don't see how this can be applicable specifically for you as a driver. You have to obey the traffic road regulations. And if you don't, then obviously the law will catch up with you. Director of Ceremonies, those eligible voters who were unable to register, and those Namibians who came 18 years of age by September 2014, will be able to register during the supplemental registration of voters in September. I urge them all to register. The inauguration of the new president and the members of the National Assembly next year will once again demonstrate the maturity and the strength of our democracy. We are proud that the democracy in our country has ensured the peace and stability and provided a conducive environment for socioeconomic development and the progress. Yes, the challenges are there and they are many. However, they are not in some wonder. Therefore, we are facing the future with confidence and determination. As we did under Sam Nuyoma's leadership during the struggle. I call upon the entire nation to always stand together and work together for the achievement of our national development goals and the vision 2030. Let us always give our very best in the advancement and development of the land of the brave. Our victory over apartheid colonialism 24 years ago put our nation on a new course. We will never look back. We must forge ahead, motivated by the dedication of our forebears who achieved so much with so little their blood waters our food. <laughs> Director of Ceremonies today, Namibians must enhance all the resources that our country is endowed with to eradicate poverty, deliver quality service to all, expand infrastructure, and make Namibia a better society. No Namibia must be left behind. All our people should have an equal opportunity to realize their potential. Let us move forward together as a visionary nation towards 2030. I wish you all a happy 24 Independence Anniversary. Long live the Republic of Namibia. Long live.